we know Germania Mint for the excellent coins that they produce. Okay, coins, rounds, technically. Maybe maybe it's just me, but I don't I don't if, if a coin if a, if a round, if a medallion has a denomination on it of legal tender, then I call it a coin. If it doesn't have a legal tender, then I call it a round or a medallion. So technically, I guess these would be medallions or rounds, not uh, not coins, because they don't have an actual denomination. I mean, they do have a denomination, but it's not a currently used denomination. Anyway, I get sidetracked. We know Germania meant for their excellent coins. Let's just call it coins for simplicity. Uh, rounds. This is the Ostara that they came out with. It's the latest of the Val, Val, uh, Valkyries series. Awesome, awesome coin. But they are also known for, not also known for, but they also produce, I should say, an investment line. And this is something that's more affordable for a lot of people. Don't get me wrong, the quality of these is still up there, but they're more of an investment piece, so they're going to be a little bit more affordable. Um, and these are the bars that they create, cast bars. I've got two sizes here, two extremes really. Their smallest one that they just came out with, and their kilo bar. Let's look at the kilo bar first. Oh, it's hard to pick this up even. Let's look at their kilo bar first. It comes with this nice box. And I know what you're thinking. Again, he's not wearing gloves again. And I'm going to say again, I don't need to. I'll show you in a minute why. Okay, I'm trying to be really careful because this sucker is heavy. I mean, a kilo is nothing to play with. This is their kilo bar. Look at that. Beautiful piece. And oh, look, you can tell from the side here, it's got plastic on it. That's why I'm handling it without gloves. Hologram on the back side. Can you see all the pretty shiny colors with the hologram, which also has a serial number on it? The serial number makes no sense whatsoever, though, so don't get hung up on that. I mean, I'm sure it makes sense to somebody, just not to us. Uh, but this is their keto bar. Um, you know what? Let me grab my wipey towel. If I have my wipey towel somewhere. Right. Hold on a sec. Because my because this bar is really cold. It was in a cold section of the house, and my hands are warm, so it's leaving all these on the plastic on the plastic I'm not doing anything to this over I, I've seen people open these up I've seen people take the plastic off now I'll give you I'll tell you why I don't want to do that number one because this is not treated silver it's just plain silver so if you do take it out of the plastic I'm, I'm not saying it's wrong you can because I am in favor of actually handling your silver I am in favor of that um, but on something like this it will start toning it will start tarnishing again no big deal if it does it's fine um, but it, it'll get micro scratches on it because there's no protective covering on it. That's the only reason why I don't do it. Anyway, that's beside the point. But that, this is the Kilo guy. So let's not go too far because this isn't the video on the Kilo. This is the video on their newest ones, which is... Careful, careful. Get that guy back in there. This is a video about their one-ounce bars that they just came out with. Very happy to have received these already. Um, oh, you might already have them. I, you know, sometimes I'm late to the party. This is the, the one ounce. Let's open it up. Let's not waste too much time. It comes Again, it comes in a nice box, but these are individual pieces inside because they're only one ounces. Look at that. Now, I, I'm calling these Germania Mint One Ounce Gems. Um, you know what? Let's, let's be naughty. Let's be, there's, there's actually two... Um, two tiers, I guess, in a box. So there's 10 on the top, 10 on the bottom. So here they are. We've got the one ounce version of that same bar. And I always have problems zooming in on this. Let me make sure that one's focused. Can I get in there focused? Yeah, that's not bad. Good enough. Um, it's the one ounce version. Again, it is sealed in plastic. It also has the uh, monogram, the hologram on what did I call it before? Oh my goodness, the hologram on the side. And I'm having issues again trying to because it's so shiny, the camera is not enjoying staying in focus. I'll put better, nicer photos up there that I've taken earlier. Um, so here you are, the one, uh, the one ounce version of it. Great little bars. I really, really like these. Again, the quality of it is always Germania Mint. I mean, that's never going to go away. 
um, again, I'll, I'll put some I'll put some more uh, detailed photos up, but you can see the stamp itself is really, really good. I mean, a lot of these cast bars, when they stamp them, I mean, it's just a, sometimes they're crooked, sometimes they're sideways, sometimes they're not quite, you know, struck the same. These guys are really, really, I mean, you can tell quality here. You really can. I mean, the stamps are accurate. They're sharp. They're detailed. I mean, really, really nice. I mean, it's Germania Mint, after all. Um, I've, I don't think, well, I shouldn't say they're none. I would say I, I am 99% satisfied with Germania Mint's products. There is that 1% uh, I'll keep to myself, but because it's probably silly because of my OCD. Anyway, but these are it. These are the one ounce bars. Just came out. Great for investors. I mean, I think they are great for investors. Uh, I the the mintage. Let me let you know. Let's let's get to the point of it. The mintage on these is unlimited, so they're going to keep making them and making them. But I still think that they are they have a place in your collection. They really do. Um, as far as investments goes in the future. I, I can't see these going but up in value. Um, I'm sure there's going to be fluctuations as far as spot price, whatever spot price happens to be doing at the time. Um, but um, yeah, these are awesome. I really like them. Um, I've, I have a feeling they're really, really going to take off and become very popular. Again, they've got different sizes. What are the different sizes? Um, I, off the top of my head, I don't remember, so I'll write it on the, on, the, on the top here. But they've got different sizes of these, and I'm going to try to... Uh, you know what? I think I am going to do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy some different sizes and do some, some videos on those so we can compare them just size-wise. But these are nice little nuggets. I mean, they're one ounce. They're not your typical size bar. Um, it's a cast bar. Even for cast bars, maybe they're not typical size. Uh, but it's one ounce, um, and um, again, uh, I've I've got nothing bad to say about these little guys. Nothing at all. Um, I love the hologram in the back. It's got a serial number too. Again, the serial number is kind of. It seems like a, it's coded for something, for internally maybe. I mean, because they're all different numbers, so they're all random numbers. They're not. It's not like it's like serial numbers one, two, three, and so forth. They're just random numbers. So I have no clue what they mean. Again, let me know what you think. Um, I mean, subscribe to the channel, of course, if you haven't already. Um, like it, share it, um, and tell your friends about it. Um, these guys are available with uh, a lot of dealers are starting to sell these. I mean, if you get desperate, I guess I, I might be able to help you out. Uh, but anyway, uh, let me leave you with that. Again, excellent bars. I appreciate your monument for what they do. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.